This video is about the who command, which is useful for displaying information about logged on users. The first section is going to talk about the overview. So one of the first things that I like to do when I'm reviewing a new command is use the dash dash help argument. So who dash dash help brings up a listing of the long and short options that are available for this argument, such as all, dead, process, etc. And you can see that we have a short description to the right. The next thing that I like to do is always review the manual page for the who for any command that I'm using. In this case, we type in man who, and you can see that we're on section one of this man page. It gives us the name, the synopsis, and all the subsections. You can see that we also have a listing of the long and short arguments that can be passed to who along with the description. And then we hit the Shift G key and always go to the bottom of the man page to the See Also subsection. This is useful for finding related commands. Let's exit the man page and then take a look at where the command is on the file system. So we can type in which who and see that it resides in user bin. In the next section, what we're going to talk about is the usage of the who command. So it's useful for displaying information about logged on users, but it can provide other information as well, such as the last time that the system was booted. So who dash dash boot gives us that information. The next thing that we do just to see a listing of the users that are logged on is just type who with no arguments. You can see on the left it has a username and then we can also see that the, the time that this user was logged on to the system. Next we're going to display any dead processes on the system and we can do that with who-d. Sometimes this information can be very useful, sometimes it's not. The next thing that we talk about is a dash r which is the run level that we're currently in. So normally you would see that yourself that you're in either run level 3 or run level 5. Just depends. A who dash a or dash dash all is basically a consolidated argument. It contains the same information that a dash b, d, prt, and a few other options would contain. You notice that we didn't have a header though. So I'm going to shrink the font a little bit and pass a dash capital H to the who command as well. And you can see that on the very top it gives us a header, the name, the line, the time, the PID, and it's useful for helping organize the information. And finally, we're going to talk about the who-q command, which is useful for displaying the number of logged on users on the system. And this concludes this video on the who command. Thank you for watching the CLI Academy and stay tuned for more videos.